Right. Hello, Kendrick. How are you doing? I am doing good. So how, how is Jacksonville? How is the corona situation over there? How are you guys coping? Um, we're, I, well, I'm still doing good. We're, well, my family's um, still doing good, just thankful. Um, no one in my family um, has tested positive for coronavirus, so it's just, um, I'm, great. I'm grateful and thankful for it. Fantastic. So um, at age 12, what really inspired you to do that song, I Just Want to Leave? Well, actually, my mom wrote the song and um, how it all went about, how I just want to live went about. It's just that right before we, I recorded I Just Want to Live, my, me, my mom and my sister watched um, the Mr. George Floyd killing video. And that was just really heartbreaking. And really sad. So right after that, my mom gave me the lyrics to the um, I Just Want to Live. And um, I meditated over the lyrics. I prayed over the lyrics. And I went back downstairs and I said that I'm ready to record. And we recorded it. Great. I mean, although your mom wrote the song, uh, the sincerity with which you sang it made it very relatable. How personal are those words in the song to you? I probably um the probably because of what's just going on right now and all the racial profiling towards black people and violence towards black people um it's it the those, those lyrics are really powerful and um, it it really can speak to you and touch you in a very special way so it's it's really based around the um what's going on right now Right. So uh, how was the feeling like when the song went viral, uh, especially in the heat of the Black Lives uh, Matters protest? How did it feel for you? I would say it made me feel um, um, just kind of sad that I had to sing those lyrics um, and just really kind of heartbreaking. Um, but on the other hand, just just um thankful that i have the opportunity to spread the message and i was the opportunity that well i was one that had the opportunity um just to get the message out there that black people can live on earth and we could um enjoy life and not be afraid or have fear in our minds and i'm just really grateful for the opportunity but also it's um kind of sad and just kind of heartbreaking really so uh, what has been the most exciting outcome from the viral video for you so far? Um, probably when the, um, all the celebrities post, share my video and of I Just Want to Live. And that was just really, really happy. And one particular, um, and I'm not trying to pick, pick, pick favorites or nothing, but I, but I love all of them um, that share my video. And I'm really grateful for that. But one particular person, um, President Barack Obama, former president, and that was just like, wow, like the President Barack Obama, um, former president just is supporting me um, in what I'm doing. And also he, in his PR statement, he mentioned my name. It's like, like, wow. So that was um, the most, probably one of the most biggest um, parts of the whole journey. So, I mean, when you walk out on the street now, how do people uh, approach you? How, how, how did, what did they say to you? People just like, like, they're just like, like even like, you know how we have to wear a mask um, for, um, since COVID-19 is around, but also I still get recognized under my mask. Um, people is just still coming up and they're like, um, oh my gosh, you're the kid that sings on, on Facebook and Instagram. And they're just like, wow, wow, um, you, you are very powerful. I love your song, I just want to live. It's just a lot, lot of words of encouragement. Um, so people still approach me like in surprise, wow. So, I mean, since you released that song, you've done a couple of songs also. How are those ones doing? Has there, has there been some rippling effects uh, as well? 
I finished my EP and um, um, yeah, I finished my EP and um, so that will be coming out soon and um, actually heading out to LA tomorrow um, to record um, an album. So that's going to be very, very exciting. So just stay tuned for that. And also, I Just Want to Live is out. So go get it. It's on all platforms, all the, all digital platforms. So go get it. And also, my official music um, video um, released yesterday. I mean, no, on Monday. And so go get that. And yeah, so just stay tuned for a lot of exciting things to come up. Well, with the EP coming out immediately, uh, can you give us a sense of the kinds of song on there uh, so that people can uh, look forward to it? The EP is mainly like inspirational and motivational songs, still kind of on the side of Black Lives Matter, um, but most encouraging just to keep you going and motivate you, um, just have hope for the world and just faith and basically those kind of songs so um that will be um mainly the kind of genre that i'll be getting out great and i mean uh i think since everything, the, the use of uh big labels speaking to you and all of that um do you already have a sense of what your main album will be like in terms of people you're going to work with producers etc do you have any idea of that yet it will be definitely um also, the same kind of feeling of I just want to live, um, it will still kind of be around the motivational, um, but I'm also be, I also will be doing some gospel songs, um, but more, mainly like motivational, inspirational songs, um, kind of around the side of I just want to live. Fantastic. So as a singer, uh, what has been your inspiration or influences for your music? As a singer, my um, inspirations and like, I've, well, I've been singing for a long time. Like I've, um, I started singing at the age of five, six years old. And um, at seven years old, that's when I knew that I wanted to, um, that, 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 that was gonna be my career. Um, and that's when I really started getting into music and singing. I always sung at church and the um, choir led songs. Um, I always just had a passion for music and singing. So um, singing just always been in me, it, run, it runs in my family. So I got it, kind of got it passed down to me. And um, just like, people always tell me like, have you got lessons? Or I was like, no, I never had lessons for singing. Um, but this influenced me, like everybody just, like even when I sing at church, um, that just really influences me just to keep going. Cause all the encouraging words that's um, being, um, set on me just keeps me moving and um keep on growing in my gift and i'm just really happy and excited and thankful for those influences and inspirations great i mean as a, a, a young seven year old who does songs to inspire people um what do you have to tell those who uh sort of have now come to know you because of the i just want to leave song uh what should be the expectation, uh, et cetera? Um, well, I actually turned 13 July 3rd. So um, yeah, I'm 13 now, but um, yeah. Can you repeat the question one more time? So I, I mean, people, you got a lot of fan base because of that music video. And so people come to you not expect, with expectations and all of that. So these new people who have now, come to know you what should they expect from you in terms of your music your personality and everything else i would say that just to expect from me just a lot um i am still a regular kid i do regular kid stuff so i'm not like a this big flashy i guess so-called like famous kid that just yeah kind of like that but um i you, you can um expect from me um i love church music i love gospel music i love to read the bible excuse me I love to read the bible and um 
I have a relationship with God. Um, my music is always going to be um, inspirational, motivational gospel songs um, around Black Lives Matter or even um, just to keep you going or have faith and hope that um, if you're going to going through something that I hope that my music can change um, your life and you can just expect from me just a lot of um, encouraging songs and um, yeah okay. just great yeah. so uh, let me ask uh, which are some of the artists that you listen to the kind of music you you listen to growing up and now Growing up, I've listened to um, Pastor John P. Key. Like I mainly just, when growing up around, I just love gospel music um, in church. So I listen to God, pa Pastor John P. Key, his songs, Hezekiah Walker, they're all gospel artists, and um, Andrea Johnson and Tasha Cobbs. And, um, but I also do listen to um, John Legend and, um, sort of some songs, people like that, Clante Gavin, Kaylin Carr. Um, I, I like mainly kind of those. And my genre that I love is, first is gospel. And then the second, I like inspirational, motivational songs. And yeah. Fantastic. Well, we wish you all the best. We keep an eye out on your EP. What's the title of the EP? I, I don't really know yet. Um, we haven't um i guess yeah i like i don't really know yet about the title great all right so we wish you all the best we keep an eye out for all the progress that you make uh thanks for speaking with us thank you thank you all right have a good one you too